Uh, Senator, just tell me a little bit about the legislation today and the impetus for it. Well, the legislation basically says that stores in Minnesota that sell liquor can be open on Sunday. So I want to be really clear, it's not a requirement. It's a mm -hmm. voluntary, optional sort of thing. Um, and the impetus, frankly, is I represent Duluth. And we have a number of store owners who watch people go right across the bridge on Sundays and make purchases. And when I go over the bridge on Sunday and make purchases, as I do on occasion, mm -hmm. I always ask them, you know, what does this mean to you? And, you know, to the stores in Wisconsin, it's their biggest day of the week is Sunday sales with Minnesotans coming over. So To clarify for th those outside of Minnesota watching this, I mean, you can't buy any alcohol on Sundays in Minnesota, correct? Absolutely, right. And it's of course you can in Wisconsin. Minnesota. And we're one of uh, only 14 states in the union that still have a complete ban on Sunday sales in Minnesota. Any historical context? I mean, why does Minnesota still have this ban? Well, certainly it's part of a blue lie heritage that a lot of states used to have, wanting to protect Sunday as a day of rest out of religious convictions. I'm an active church goer, um, proud of my congregation, but I think frankly in a 21st century economy, a lot of things happen on Sundays that didn't used to, and even though I might not make that purchase on Sunday, we ought to allow it for people who would like to. How much money is being lost to Wisconsin, in Duluth and perhaps statewide? Sure. You know, it's two things. Number one, about 3% of the total alcohol sales for the state of Wisconsin. So this is not just the border, the total alcohol sales for the state of Wisconsin are from Minnesota. Uh -huh. Pretty significant figure. We also know that Minnesota would gain roughly 10 to $15 million in additional alcohol sales tax revenue if these Sunday purchases were made in Minnesota. What we don't know, but anecdotally believe, is that you know, it, that's multiples for, 30 miles, for within 30 miles of the border. Mm -hmm. You pushed this legislation last year as well. Uh, right. How is this year different, and how do you expect to fare going forward with the legislation? Well, the big difference this year is when I authored it last year, I couldn't get a hearing in the Commerce Committee in the House. Um, this year, I'm on the Commerce Committee in the Senate, mm -hmm. so I hope to have a little bit more traction there. Great. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you.